Welcome to or back to For the Love of Four. So I was filming this bookshelf tour live and then YouTube kicked me off four minutes in, which was only five bookshelves, five shelves of my bookshelves. So what I'm going to do is go quickly through them, just naming the titles. And if it's a series and I know the series names, I'll say the series name. Know that some of my books are still in my post box and I haven't been able to pick them up or I have some in storage or people are borrowing them or they are pulled to be finished or to read for February. Here we go. I have Any Day, Any Dream Will Do, The Death of Miss West, Westaway, The Lying Game, Skipping Christmas, Sea Folks, The Giver, The Memory Keeper's Daughter, Looking for Alaska, Then, then There Was You, If I Stay, uh, Big Little Lies, the Trial of Fallen Angels, the uh, the series Delirium, Pandemonium, and I can't say that word, so I'm not going to bother. Panic, Onyx and Ivory, Winter Song, Shadow Song. I have Catwoman and a Court of Thorn series. The Traitor series, waiting for the third book to come out, but it has a home already. I do have the this series, the first one's pulled for February, which is... Um, hunting Prince Dracula, stalking Jack the Ripper, and um, escaping from Houdini. Cruel Prince, Wicked King, Carve the Mark, The Fate Divides, The Divergent Series, The Hush Series, some graphic novels including Monstrous. I have the Red Queen Series and Collection Collector's Edition, I guess, from Barnes & Noble. My Harry Potter shelf, I am waiting for my Hufflepuff stuff to come in. I am, um, or I need to order it for it to come in. I am a Huffleclaw. So here is hardcover, the illustrated edition, graphic novels, and then, of course, Fantastic Bee stuff. All right. I have Ash Princess and I Darken, Now I Rise, Bright We Burn, I don't know the name of the series, but there you go. Can't say that name. Persipulous, I think. One and two graphic novels. I wanted them there and not up there because they were shorter. The Illuminae series, which I absolutely love, suggests that you buy and look at it as you listen to it. Crooked Kingdom, Six of Crows, The Language of Thorns, Wayfair, Passenger, uh, Passenger, and then the Dark Mind series. The movie for the uh, Darkest Mind is amazing. So the Darkest Mind series, I'm sorry. Don't know the name of this series. Loved Eve, trying to get through once, hoping Rise is better than once. Everless, Evermore, My Plain Jane, Owl Crate and Store Edition, My Lady Jane, um, Reign of the Fallen, Girl Stolen, Interesting Read, Sucky Ending, Mirage, the Good and Evil series that I stole from my 13-year-old, Fury Born, The Crow uh, Trap, which I'm hoping I love so I can buy the whole series. My 14-year-old said I needed to have the one and only Ivan in my collection. She has her own copy. She would not let me have her copy. I have this series. I'm hoping to get some of the other books to go with it. I don't know the name of the series, but I won't start it until I have all of them. Hocus Pocus, uh, the all-new sequel, Land of Stories series that I also stole from my 13-year-old that I want to start reading. She said I would love it. Uh, the Raven Boy series, the first book is pulled for February. Hunger Games. I'm hoping to find a used copy of the first book to have hardcover to match these two. Um, this series, I'm not sure of the name of the series, but I had received this one in a subscription box and I just bought these two used for a dollar a piece so I'm looking forward to starting that now that I have the whole series. Silo Storm and Strike. City of Bones um, illustrated graphic edition that's a library book. I have the Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. Bange whatever it's called book is coming and it will go right there. This one I need to scan before I can put it in its place, but when I do scan it, it's going to go right here. Sorry for moving me so fast. Clockwork Angel, the Clockwork series portion of it, I'm letting 
a parent of one of my students borrow the newest one from this trilogy. And then I have a bunch of um, Holoquin romance books behind. Down here. These are all kind of like Disney retellings of some kind. Melissa De La Cruz is one of my favorite authors, as you can see. I don't have all of her books, but I have a majority. So I'm just letting you see the titles because I'm not going to read them all. Then I have the first book from, I believe, the Jewels series. Sleeping Beauty trilogy from Anne Rice. The Wife Between Us. And I know that there's another book that just came out that's read that I'm planning on getting. But I wanted to read that one first to see if I even like it and I'm going to keep it. Prince Blood, Before I Fall, Thanks for the Memories, the um, To All the Boys I Loved Before You series. I've had this Nora Roberts quartet for probably four, five years. Need to read them or they need to go. If I don't read them in 2019, they are leaving. I have some Kristen Hanna books, some Julie, um, Judy, Jody. Judy, I don't know. That person's book. And then I have Something Like Fate, Captivated by You. I have read that whole series. Um, I kind of lost, lost interest, but those are the two last books. I'm going to keep them in case I regain interest so I can finish the series, but it's probably going to be um, a DNF, did not finish. So I have Little Mercies, Heartbreakers, and then Emily Giffen series, or however you say her name, Baby Proof, The One and Only, Something Blue, Love the One You're With, Something Borrowed, Heart of the Matter, and we Where We Belong. I have a bunch of different uh, separate books, Catching Stars, Grace and Fury, All the Bright Places, Hunter, New Order, Night Circus, Legendary, um, Carvel, Caravel, Car I don't know. My brain's off during the weekend. All the Cricket Saints from um, from Twinkle with Love. That's the Owl Crate edition. I pulled the Smoke and Bones for February, but there's the other two, some of her other books. The Selection Series, Shiver, Anger, Forever. These are Disney retellings. I'll just let you look at the titles. That space right there is for the sea witch that a friend of mine is borrowing. Sorry, I'm on my knees. I need to go down. The Kingdom Keeper series, as you can see, has been well read. Everybody in my family reads them. My husband just picked this one up for me, which is the Mortal series. Mortal, no, the Mortal uh, Engine series, whatever it's called. Unfortunate Events box series. Oh, that all just fell out. I'll have to reorder that. And that's going to go on the bottom shelf of the next book shelf. I have um, Rick. I never say, I'm never able to say his last name, but Percy Jackson series and then the Apollo series, Magnum Chase. Weather Witch, Heart of Iron, Oliver Twist. Warp, Pride, the uh, Owl Crate Edition, Deep Blue, Shadows in Fox, Owl Crate Edition, Girls in Paper and Fire, Girls of Paper and Fire, Owl Crate Edition, The Fifth Petal, Ace of Shadows, Owl, Crate, Owl Crate Edition, My Diary, From the Edge of the World, Sanctuary, The Fault in Our Stars, Will Wilder, um, for a Muse of Fire, again, I think almost all of these books except for Hazelwood is Owl Crate. So, I'll just show you. And the um, Price Guide of the Occult, which I'll probably never read. My Fallen series, Out of Order for some reason, uh, Westerfield series is all in there. Uh, my Stephanie... Meyer stuff that I like. That includes Twilight. Let me move my Bible bag. 
so you can see the rest that's back here. Beautiful Creatures and then the Blue Moon series by Allison Noel and then her um, little spinoff. So that is this bookshelf. I'm going to pause it and stand up. It's going like, to look like I never even paused it, but I can't get up and film at the same time. Okay, I'm back that quick. So on top of this shelf, if it's even in frame, are some classics, true classics, all the way dating back from 1812, which is this book right here. So pretty cool collection to have. Different titles. I love the etiquette book. And then coming down, Mythology, Hamlet, some classics that I got from Costco, some of my favorites. Some of them I gave away, some of them I kept because I should read them. Like, I need to read um, Anna of Green Gables. I haven't read it since I was a kid and I can't remember it, so. Then I have my Jane Austen favorites. Love William Shakespeare, so I have the complete works. Sherlock Holmes, and then some other classics right here. Some of them are from book subs subscriptions, others I bought. I have some vlogging gear, old I iPod, and then I have a slight obsession with Winnie the Pooh, characters and everything, Mary Poppins books. I have Withering Heights, um, Pride and Prejudice, <laughs> until recently. I didn't think that was the spelling of it. And when I went to the bookstore, I was like, no, that's not correct. And then I felt stupid. Um, these, This author is probably one of my 13-year-old's favorite authors. And these are my favorite books, The Witches and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Some older, older books from the 40s, I believe. Well, this one's from the 40s. I think these are just reprints, but this one is from the 40s. My daughter is reading my other, my paperback copy of To Kill a Mockingbird. Here are my hardcovers. Two more classics and then the Sister Grimm series. I thought that was cool. This is the Brothers Grimm and then Grimm Fairy Tales. And then I have the Phantom Tollbooth, Never Ending Story. One of my copies of 1984, that is the year I was born, um, Withering Heights with a different spelling, and this is what kind of screwed me over with the spelling of it. So, yeah. Wizard of Oz, full box collection, my S Silverstein poem poetry books, um, The Moonstone, Pride and Prejudice Zombies, Emma, The Casualties, Kissing, Ted Callahan, Spindle, the Last Days of Rabbit Hayes, The Secret Garden, Alchemist Goes Here, and then um, this cute, I stole this series from my 10 year old because I do want to read them because she enjoyed them. But Not Buddy, some of my babysitter books, the rest are in there. These are just my favorite ones that I have out. The Wrinkle in Time series. And then I have some odd books that were either purchased for me or I got from the dollar store. I need to finish this one. He is my all-time favorite author. A lot of his books are away in storage because I don't need to have them out. I don't plan on rereading them. The Riching Hour, I need to reread. I haven't read that since I was probably a teenager. So, there are those. And then the Left Behind series which is double stacked because I have, I do own the whole series. And then down here are, it's another Disney series, some devotional stuff that I need to organize. And then those are all my Christian self-help books that I need to organize because I do want to put, sorry about my dirty floor, these right here on that shelf. So that is my bookshelf organization or tour, shelf tour. Just so you know that this cabinet down here is filled with books as well. That is some of the stuff that I don't put on display. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was 15 minutes of book love. Take care. If you have a bookshelf tour of your own, 
tag me below. I would love to see it. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.